Let's practice a basic Excel macro in Excel 2013. Now the idea of a macro is to automate certain steps to save you some time. Ideally you'd find you'd learn some keyboard shortcuts to do the work quickly. Uh, as well, uh, you may even learn some scripting within Excel and it, there's actually a, a whole profession of coding relating to Excel uh, using Visual Basic for applications, which is a high-paying industry. But uh, for now, let's just introduce the basics. Let's begin by um, let's begin by recording a macro. You go to View, and you can see there's a little drop-down arrow here in Macros, and you can see all the macros by going to View Macro. We see nothing here, so let's go View Record Macro. Now, right now, we're recording a macro. We'll just call it Macro 4. And you can call it whatever you wish. We need to use a shortcut letter here. I'll just use the letter Q, Control Q. Click on OK. So right now, we are recording. So there's a stop button here. So be careful, don't actually click anywhere. Otherwise, Excel will always click on that cell. So I don't want to actually click on any cell otherwise the macro effect would apply only to that cell I'm gonna change the formatting I'm gonna press a keyboard shortcut called control shift F control shift F it opens up the format cells dialog I'm gonna change the uh, font to bold italic and I'll make this uh, fill color change the fill just I'll make it orange click on OK so I successfully changed the format now I will type in the word macro now this is important you can't just press stop here it won't work until you actually confirm what you entered so I'm gonna press enter so I entered it so now when I go back to the uh, macro I'm gonna stop recording or you can press stop here in the bottom left corner and now we have successfully stopped recording. So when I go back to my macro, I can view the macros, and you can see macro 4 is there. I'm going to cancel. And what macro 4, if I click on some other cell, what macro 4 does is when I press Control Q, it very quickly uh, draws uh, what I had before. Now obviously this is not the ideal example of a macro, but we're just introducing the basics. Uh, this here, I could simply copy a cell and also paste it, preserving the formatting. But just for the sake of using a macro, I'm just going to press Control Q, Control Q. You may even draw a nice, pretty picture for fun if you have lots of time to kill. So to finish off this uh, introductory idea of macros, I'm going to hit the drop-down box and click on View Macros, and I'm going to click on Edit. You may see some kind of uh, Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications uh, Visual Basic Coding up here and this is becoming more like a programming type job to understand this so this is beyond the scope of a beginner's tutorial but this is where you can always close it uh, hit that X button and go back so hopefully you found this uh, video useful as an introductory step to macros